hi friends in this video we will see about the scope variables so in the javascript uh, the variables will be defined in the two different scopes one is global scope and the local scope what is local scope and the lo global scope for example in javascript if you take the browser you will be having one global scope variable known as window window object window object is nothing but what we can say is it is in the global scope and the variables whichever we mention in the methods or anything so those will be available in the in that function block only those will be called as the local scope so let's demonstrate with a simple example where we can see the difference between the local scope and the global scope now i will create one variable with a is equal to 5 and this variable when we create at the top of the thing top of the javascript or anything so we can say this one is defined in the global scope now if i try to print console.log a i can get the output okay i got the output 5 now what i will try to do is i will create a new function okay get name or something like now what i will try to do i will try to print the console.log same a I will remove this one let's see what will happen now we see again uh, we will try to call the function uh, function get name okay if we try to call the function only then it will be now if i execute now i got the same 5 is printed here what has happened what has happened is the a variable is defined in the global scope and this global scope will be available a will be available in anywhere in the in the functions and anywhere it will be available so this is nothing but the global scope now what i will try to do is i will create same variable here and i will do this one where a is equal to 6 now i will try to print the variable i got now 6 variable now here after calling this one i will try to print again a Now I got 6 and 5. What is happening here is the variable a is defined in the global scope. Okay, that will be available in, a, in every everywhere it will be available in the functions or everywhere it will be available. Now in the function get name itself, I am overriding this one where a is equal to 6 so that new variable a will be created within this function block. So that a a now a is a local scope here. But coming outside again. A, a, a will be in the global scope so a, here a, 5 will be available so that is the here a is the only local scope variable so that is the reason we are getting 6 here I, I, while coming outside the scope the scope of this uh, variable is completed it, it will be available only in this function block so that is the reason a will be 5 outside this one okay this is the function function uh, what we can say local local scope and the global scope now what i will try to do is I will try to remove this variable okay now let's see what could be the output okay here I got the 6 output but I am I am unable to print the a outside the function so here in the when I am trying to print the console.log a I am I am trying I am getting an error a is not defined why so here in this function a is defined as a local scope only so that means this a will be available only in this function only if you try to print that a value outside the function so you will be getting an error javascript so a is not defined so that is the re that is the thing so you you have to remember one thing is global scope variables can be used anywhere in the local scope or anywhere but local scope variables will be available only in that in that scope only you cannot use that variable outside the scope but the global scope variables can be used anywhere in the scope of the javascript that is the main difference between the global scope and the local scope so now what i will try to do is i will remove this where okay and i will i will print the variable if i see here you will be you are able to get the output c 6 a is equal to 6 and console.log a we got that one and also console.log a here also we are getting now a has become the global scope what is the reason what is the thing happening here is we didn't declare the variable okay right we didn't declare the variable as where a we didn't declare anything then we have we have discussed in the previous uh, videos and all those things so if we didn't declare anything for the variable automatically javascript registers that one as the 
global scope variable now here you didn't mention this one as where so that is the reason it it took the a as the global scope variable that means if it is a global scope variable means it will be available on uh, available in the function scope and also in the outside scope also it will be available so that is the reason you are able to get the six as the output both in the outside of the function and also inside the function this is the main difference you need to remember if you are using use strict mode in the javascript then you will be getting an error that a, a you need to declare that one as a where you will be getting an error so you will be not able to use this type say thing this type of uh, syntax okay this is the main difference between the global scope and the local scope if you like this video please subscribe to my channel thank you